everybody sing that shit. Stefan Lichtsteiner to face disciplinary proceedings for controversial goal celebration. Switzerland defender Stefan Lichtsteiner has joined teammates Granit Zaka and Zerdan Shakiri in facing FIFA disciplinary proceedings for controversial goal celebrations in their win over Serbia. Zaka and Shakiri, who scored Switzerland's goals in the 2-1 win, were charged on Saturday after they celebrated by putting their hands together to form a double-headed eagle similar to the one on the Albanian flag. This nationalist symbol risked inflaming tensions in the Balkans among Serbians, who do not recognize Kosovo's independence, and ethnic Albanians. On Sunday, FIFA announced Lichtsteiner has also been charged having joined in with the celebration. Stoke midfielder Shakiri was born in Kosovo and Arsenal Zaka was born to Albanian parents who were originally from Serbia. His father was a political prisoner following the 1968 student demonstrations in Yugoslavia against the communist government in Belgrade. Zaka's brother Talant plays for Albania's national side. Serbia are also in hot water with the world governing body with Serbian Football Association President Slave Isa Kokza and coach Mladen Krstajic facing charges over comments made after the same match. Kokza had told BBC Sports Serbia were victims of a brutal robbery and claimed FIFA had directed officials to favor Switzerland. A FIFA statement said, the FIFA Disciplinary Committee has opened disciplinary proceedings against the Swiss player Stefan Lichtsteiner for a goal celebration during the match Switzerland vs Serbia. In relation to the same match, disciplinary proceedings have been opened against the president of the Serbian FOS Leviza Kokza as well as the national coach Mladen Krstajic for statements made in the aftermath of the said match. Meanwhile, FIFA's disciplinary committee handed the Danish Football Association a fine of 20,000 Swiss francs, 15,250 pounds, after supporters threw objects towards Australia fans displayed a sexist banner and failed to respect the pre-match protocols.